undies are off the hook. Chico! Oh. Wow! Chico, you saved the royal undies! And you've got a Category 5 wedgie. Ha ah, ha, it's a personal best. Chico Bonbon, bon, monkey with a wedgie. Chico, have you found the royal underwear? Sure have, Mayor Murphy. Got them right here. But I need them right here, right now. The parade is about to start. Hang tight. We're on our way. Okay, everybody. Into Tool Force One. If we hurry, we can get there just in time. Well, that's gonna be hard. No way. The Fix-It Force can do anything. No, I mean, that's gonna be hard. Your vehicle's stuck in concrete. <gasps> It's stuck, all right. But but now we'll never get the mayor of the underwear in time. The parade will be canceled and and, and, and... Uh, Chico, I think you better take a banana break. Ow. Hmm. We gotta get the royal undies to Mayor Murphy. But Tool Force One is stuck. We need to snap to it. Snap? Wait, maybe we can use elasticity. Rubber band? No. Hair tie? No. Slingshot! Blazing bananas, that's it! We can make a giant slingshot to launch me and the royal underwear to the parade. Rainbow, which way's the parade? That way! Clark, stretch me back. You got it. And... Snap! <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Here's Mayor Murphy kicking off the underwear parade in 10, 9, 8, 7, There's the parade! Here comes Chico five, Bing Bong! 4, 3, Oh, there's two, underwear! One, right here, Mayor Murphy! Chico! Undies up! Let the underwear parade begin! Underwear! Underwear! Thank you, Chico. You've saved the underwear parade. <laughs> Let's all hear it for Chico Bon Bon. Hey, you got my name right. Chico Bon Bon. Chico Bon Bon. Guys, you made it. Yeah. <laughs> of course we did, Chico. We're the Fix-It Force. Let's get this underwear party started. But first... Snap test! Peanuts, it's too short! Oh, we are running out of time! Clark, if you hold on to the piano and grab the velvet rope with your trunk, you can fill the gap! You're long enough and strong enough! But it's going all the way up there! And I'm afraid of up there! Don't worry, mate! I'll be right up there with you! Well... Clark! 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 Good job, Clark! All right, fix it, Force. Time to bring the awesome. Hit it, Rainbow! Hang on to your whiskers. This pulley's going up. Clark. Oh, no, don't look down. You know, Clarky boy, whenever I'm feeling scared, I like to sing me a little tune. Raise me up now, my dear Pauline. Lift me high up off the ground. Wheel goes round as I move skyward. Spinning round and round. Heading right up to the clouds. In the sky we sing together, the crowd begins to cheer, there's music to my ears. Hello, Blunderbug! We made it to the top! Woohoohoo! Alright, Clark! I'm on stage with Elke! 
Captain John! This is the best birthday ever! Let's hear it for Clark! The super bright birthday boy! And a big thanks to Chico and the gang for solving me piano problem! Ladies and gentlemen, with the help of this incredible wheel thingy... Polly! Chico Bonbon bon and the Fix-It Boys have saved the day again! And I must say, when I hear a song this rockin', it makes me want to shake my tail feather! Well, what you waiting for, Neil? Shake that thing! <laughs> <laughs> exactly! Time for Operation Mega Magnet! We've gotta get every magnet we can find! Ready? Set, go! Look, I said go. Oh, right. The smell of giant magnets in the morning. It's nighttime, Chico. And the only thing I smell is danger. Look, Mrs. Mrs. Coleslaw. What do you get when you cross a vampire and a snowman? Reggie, oh, this is no time to joke. Just please come home. You get frostbite. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, I just can't help it. You're so funny, Reggie. <laughs> We've got to stop them before they go stomping over that cliff. We're in range. Fire the Mega Magnet now! The other button, Clark. Oh. <laughs> Yay! The magnet's stuck! We got them! Oh, they're sticking all right. But now they've got us! Ugh. Ugh. They're pulling us over! <gasps> Tiny, activate super tire treads! Clark, engage full reverse thrusters! Rainbow, initiate... Rainbow? What are you doing? Don't worry, I got this. Oh, Bridgie, you're finally safe and sound. Better make a few adjustments so we never see that crazy Mr. Fridgebot again. What did baby corn say to mama corn? Where is popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chico, I just love my new and improved Bridgie Boo Boo. All in a day's work for... The Fix It Force! Aw, oh, you guys are the best. Nice voices, too. But, Clark, you must be tired of carrying everyone around. Oh, I'm fine. I could carry you guys around all day as long as I don't lose my balance or trip or... Oh, oh peanuts! I did it again! I'm Neil Ostrich, your beak on the street reporting live from the giant glue ball. All of Blunderburg is stuck together with glue and is on a roll straight towards the Museum of Fragile Things. Chico, you have to do something. The Museum of Fragile Things is full of things that are very delicate and break easily. Like that face! I got this! I'll use grippy glue to stick us to the street. That'll stop us. Oh, no. It's empty. And we're picking up speed. And I'm starting to get dizzy. We're all stuck together, and we're rolling out of control, and we can't stop. What are we going to do? You're going to take a banana break. Ow. Okay. We use the grippy glue to fix everything in Blunderburg. 
But the glue got all over everyone. And now we're all stuck together and rolling through town. We're out of glue, so that can't stop us. What else is an adhesive? Will it stick? Will it stick? Will it stick? Will it stick? It sticks! Placing bananas, that's it! Clark, may I have some peanut-flavored bubble gum? Wow, I didn't know you liked it so much. It's not just gum, Clark. It's an adhesive. If we all blow a bubble and it pops, the sticky gum will bond to the ground and stop us. And stop this glue ball. Everyone, take some bubble gum and pass it around. Okay, everybody, now blow a bubble. <laughs> something about a gumball that needs fixing? This glue be gone sprays quality stuff. We got everybody a bottle. The vase is all fixed. Thanks to my new and improved grippy glue. A little less sticky, a little less tricky. Yeah, I'm sorry I got us all stuck together. No way, Clark. I had a blast bonding with you guys. Like sticky glue or gum on a shoe? I'm stuck. What is all this? I told you to make the street nice for Mr. McFluster. Not ice and custard. What? This doesn't look nice? Please and bananas, how are we gonna get through this? We'll dance our way through. You had that this whole time? Just follow my lead. Slip, grip. Slip, slip, grip like this. Slip, grip. And Mrs. Coleslaw, I believe this lucky feather belongs to you. Oh, thank you, Chico. <laughs> now, come on, we can't keep Flippy waiting. One, two, two flips from Flippy. Ooh, that score's gonna be tough to beat. Let's see what our next contestants can do. Give it up for Mrs. Coleslaw and Chico Bon Bon. Uh, once again, Mrs. Coleslaw and Chico Bon Bon. Oh, Peanuts, where are they? Huh? Here we go! Slip, slip, slip and a grip. Slip, 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 slip and a grip, yeah! Slip, slip, slip and a grip. Slip, 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 slip and a grip, yeah! Slip, slip, slip and a grip. Slip, 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 slip and a grip, yeah! Slip, slip, slip and a grip. Slip, 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 slip and a grip, yeah! Slip and a grip. Slip, slip, slip and a grip. Slip, slip, slip and a grip. Slip, 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 slip and a grip. Oh, my! Those shoes were slippy and grippy. What do you think, Flippy? One, two, three! Oh, three flips from Flippy! You've won Dancing with the Seals! Thanks, Flippy. And thank you, Mrs. Coleslaw, for teaching me the Slippy Grippy Shuffle. Oh, we couldn't have done it without your dancing shoes, Chico! It's not a bridge exactly, but it'll bridge the gap between here and Herb's house. And since there's no actual bridge, there's nothing for the beetles to eat. This could work. Fix it, Force. Let's go catch some air. 
Hello, I'm Neil Ostrich with a special report. The Fix-It Force needs your leaf blowers. The fate of a power pizza delivery badge depends on it. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, blowers engage. All blowers at full power. Nice. Warning, beans are no longer piping hot. Do not deliver, do not deliver. Oh, we're too late. The pizza, it's warm. Oh, I can't deliver this. Ah, oh, bummer. Then I guess you won't mind if I do this. Piping hot again. Clear for delivery. Clear for delivery. Bon Bon leaf blowers blow hot air. Oh, it's a pizza miracle. Nah, just science. Now go deliver that pie. Huh? Yeah. 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 All right. Bridge eating beetles are getting blown away. Go, Mr. McBluster, go! Ooh, bubbles. <gasps> bubbles? Oh, peanuts. One of the blowers is set to bubbles. Somebody's got to turn it back on. I'm on it. Achigo, wait! We need someone small who can get in between the blowers to reach the switch. This is a job for... Super Tiny! Herb the Hermit Crab, I believe you ordered a piping hot pizza. I said no onions. <gasps> After Mr. McFlustery made his order, Herb finally got to eat a piping hot pizza, which he describes as pretty good. Oh, thank you, Fix-It Force. With your help, I was able to keep my power pizza delivery badge. By the way, where is my favorite super mouse? Uh, huh? huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Super Tiny's quest for cheese is over. Here, uh, we could, uh, 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 uh what, what if we, uh... Take a banana break? Yes! Ow. Okay, nothing's working. We just keep falling back onto that old springy mattress. Mrs. Coleslaw won't get her spring-loaded turbo toaster back, and we'll never play Super Springy Pinball again. Wait a minute. Blazing bananas, that's it! Mrs. Coleslaw's toaster has Super Springy Springs inside! They can give us the energy to pinball our way out. We'll use the sides of the jump hole like a real pinball machine. If we put ropes under those two plungers, we could use them like pinball flippers. And we can use the energy from the springs in the toaster for a launcher. But who are we gonna launch? According to my calculations, Clark, Chico, and I are all too heavy. We need someone smaller so the energy of the spring is enough to launch them to the top. Yeah, Tiny, you can be our pinball. But you might need a little more spring in your step to bounce out of here. We're gonna make you your very own super bouncy spring ball suit. Ready to launch? Okay, Tiny, it's pinball time. Clark, load it up. Three, two, one. Super spring launcher, go! He's running out of energy. Quick, Clark, boot me. Uh, okay. No, no, Clark, boot me. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Way to go! Yay for Tiny! Well, folks, looks like there's a new pint-sized pinball wizard in town. And her name is Tiny. Nice work, team. Yeah! Chico, I'm back. And I brought those cantaloupes you asked for. <gasps> My toaster! 
safe and sound, Mrs. Coleslaw. Oh, Toaster! Oh, I was so worried about you. I promise I'll never let you fall in any more holes ever again. Oh, Sweet moves in that spring ball suit. <gasps> Three bananas! Yes! That's a new high score. Lacing bananas, that's it! We need a counterweight to pull the train up. Yeah, something just as heavy, like a second train! Yeah! When one train pulls down, it acts as a counterweight and pulls the other train up. There's even a name for it. It's called a funicular. A funicular? Sounds like the perfect name, because we're about to make the most fun ride in town. Presenting the fantastic Fix-It Force Funicular. What's a funicular? I'm glad you asked. All along the mountainside, up and down a steep incline, a party car, just step inside. Funicular. A funny scene, just like a dream. The greatest thing you've ever seen. It's even got a trampoline. Funicular. Hop aboard, we're leaving soon with tunes, balloons, and lots of prunes. Get it quick while there's still room. Funicular. A groovy way to ride a train. Up one side and down the same. The funniest way to save the day. Funicular. Funicular. Stop the spaghetti shack. Oh, 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 a piece of fun. Look at what you did. I was so happy. Now our customers can fill their bellies with the spaghetti any time they want. See you at the spaghetti shack. Whew. <laughs> we solved the lemur's problem and got Tool Force One back. <gasps> My stunt is supposed to happen right now. And we better get to the Blunder Dome fast. We? Rainbow, we made a fix-it force promise. Now, let's jump through a ring of fire and a hundred pianos. Ooh, saying it sounded even worse than thinking it. Pow, pow, meow! This is the illustrated the Blunder Dome, where there's still no sign of Rainbow. Pow, pow, meow! enough to impress the judges. Oh, looks like we have a tie. That means it's time for the thunder and lightning round. The one who dazzles the crowd with the most amazing moves will win the golden pancake trophy. Flippers to the starting line. On your marks, get set. Take left. Who will flip it? Hold up. Storm Cloud, what if we use the flexible flipping power of both our spatulas on this last pancake? You mean you and I team up? If we work together, I bet we can flip it four times. A quadruple flip! But that's never been done. You really think we can do it? 
I know we can. Because it's not just the tool. It's, it's how, how we, we use, use it. it. Come on. Follow my lead. and pulled off the first quadruple flip in history! The winners are Storm Cloud Lightning and Rainbow Thunder! Yeah. You did it! Nice moves out there, Rainbow. Aw, I couldn't have done it without the fix-it force. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> but wait, there's two winners, but only one trophy. I can fix that. Time to do your thing, trophy saw. Awesome! Yeah! New break! Hmm. It gone through, over, and under every barrier we've built. Scarecrow Murphy, too! What to do, what to do, what to do? Good idea, Tiny. Better take a banana break. Ow. Okay, how to keep the gobblers out? I try to scare Crow. Don't mind me! Uh, the wall they climbed over. I'm not even here! <laughs> and then we try to roof. Oh, Clark! What? I can't think when you keep distracting me with your vacuum. Blazing bananas, that's it! If we use suction power, we can gather up the garden gobblers in the vacuum tank. Tiny? Oh, I love it! The suction power from the vacuum should suck them right up! Wow! But Chico, all those gobblers aren't gonna fit into this little tank. You are right, Clark. So what do you say we upgrade the Elevac 1000 into the Fix-It Vac? One, two, three, four thousand! <laughs> Nothing in the world would make me happier! Are the very last of my carrots, Chico. You really think this will work? Madam Mayor, I have never been more almost sort of sure about anything ever almost. Then let's do it. <laughs> I certainly hope no garden gobblers come to eat my fresh and yummy carrots. <laughs> Covered in vines, but fear not, Blunderberg. I shall deliver the news from here now. <gasps> Breaking news. No, I won't. In a stunning turn of events, I have been freed by the most adorable little critters. <laughs> They've got enough food here to keep them happy for, like, ever. Who would have thought you could use one problem to solve another? The Fix-It Force. That's who. Blazing bananas, that's it. We can use the sun to heat the cocoa, just like we melted Tiny's cheese. We can! Yay! How? With the magnifying glass. Of course. The magnifying glass is focusing the sun's energy onto the cocoa, which will heat it up. Magnify it! Magnify it! But to make the cocoa hot, we'll need even more heat. And that means a bigger magnifying glass. And to focus it, we'll need to hold it real far from the cocoa. Like, how far? Top a Blunderbird Tower far. Huh? Uh, uh, fix 
opposite force, we are going to engineer a mega magnifying glass. With a brand new sprite, I hope y'all brought your shades. Wah! Ow, ow, ow! The mega magnifying glass is ready to shine. Clark, ready with the controls? Ready, Chico. All right, everyone. Let's focus. Clark, rotate the glass toward the sun. <laughs> Look at that energy. We're focusing the light from the sun. Now, rotate it so it's pointing this way. Oops. Sorry, Cactus. A little to the left. All right, Clark. Focus. Focus on that cocoa. <laughs> the energy from the sun is focused on the cocoa. Great work, Clark. Rainbow, what's our temperature? It's lukewarm and climbing. It's toasty. And it's hot! No, Herb! Sip while the cocoa's hot! Hot cocoa? Drink it! Drink it! Drink it! But carefully, it's very hot. That's all right. Yeah! The magnifying glass on top of Wonderbird Tower will heat your cocoa every morning. All you have to do is use this remote to focus the light on the right spot. Thank you, Fixing Force. But what about my ice cream? Can you help me keep it from melting? Oh, we can definitely help with that. Blazing bananas, that's it! Clark will be our wrecking ball. Clark? He's definitely heavy enough. And if he swings back and forth like a pendulum, he should hit the wall with enough force to break through. Love it. We just need to make him a safety suit. Fix it, Force, minus Clark. Let's swing into action. We're witnessing history, folks. Clark is through the bear crawl. Tip-toe, 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 ha! And past a family of little birdies in record time. Do it, Clark, almost there. All that's left is the climbing wall, which, say, is it just me? Or is that new wall very tall? Oh, boy. Clark! Oh, oh, hey, Chico. This wall is pretty tall. It sure is. And if we can't knock it down, the race will be canceled. Canceled? Oh, no! Chico, we've got to do something. I was hoping you'd say that. Rainbow, get ready with the crane and the safety suit. Clark, buddy? are gonna be a wrecking ball. A wrecking ball? I've never trained for that. Who do I do? All you have to do is swing like a pendulum. It's all up to you now. You're gonna save the entire race. I am? You can do it, buddy. I can? You can do it, Clarky. We believe in you. Oh, I can. I can make it through any obstacle. It looks like the race will have to be canceled. <gasps> Wait, what's that? It's what? It's a plane! It's a wrecking ball! Yes, yes, yes! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I did it! You certainly did, buddy! You saved the race! I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> and you won! Clark, it is my honor to present to you the Golden Peanut. You truly are an elephant ninja warrior. <laughs> and I also declare you the official wrecking elephant of Blunderberg. Wow! What an honor! And, um, Start right now. Those silly dunderheads built another wall blocking Main Street while we were talking. <laughs> we're on it, Mayor Murphy. Come on, fix it, Force. Plus Clark. Those are all the cantaloupes I have, Chico. Try something else. Nope. No. Nada. That's everything I got, Chico. He still hasn't budged. How are we gonna get him out of there? Um, Chico, it sounds like you could use 
a banana break. Ow. Okay, we couldn't pull him out or push him out. Plus, I spent the whole day slipping on banana peels and it... Wait, banana peels are slippery. Blazing bananas, that's it! We can use banana peels to slippy slide Clark out. Yeah, like a lubricant. Lubricant? A lubricant is where you use one thing like banana peels to make something else slippery. Bingo. We can use banana peels as a lubricant to make the laundry chute slippery. Yay! And then I'll slide right out. But how are you going to get enough banana peels up here? Say hello to my yellow friend. Clark, toss me those bananas. All we have to do is throw the banana reverser switch and shoot those slippery peels up there. Um, pow pow meow, the banana cannon's kind of my thing. Oh, right, sorry. It's all you. Cover your eyes, Clark. It's working! They're making the chute super slippery. I'm sliding! I'm sliding! I'm... Oh, stuck again. Rainbow, see that tiny opening? You gotta get a peel in there so he'll slide out. But there's only one banana left. Then you gotta make it count. This is it, folks. Just one banana left. Will Rainbow Thunder be able to overcome the pressure and... Ahem. Do you mind? Oh, sorry. Pow, pow, meow! Bullseye! Here he comes! <laughs> Oof. Hey, Clark, buddy! I'm free! Oh, that's wonderful! Thank you, Chico! Aw, oh, Mrs. Coleslaw, we couldn't have done it without your amazing detective work. Why, I suppose that's true. Well, you all must stay to celebrate. And I know just how we'll do it. And so, using the power of slippery banana peels as a lubricant, the Fix-It Force has solved the mystery. Mr. Ostrich, we're about to watch Squirlock Holmes. And I made plenty of banana nachos. Uh, this is Neil Ostrich, signing off. As it grew late, people went to their beds. As visions of berry cakes danced through their heads. All over town, in every house, not a creature was stirring. Except one little mouse. But to Tiny's surprise, as she woke that night, there wasn't a blunderberry cake in sight. Did someone call the banana phone? Ugh, I'm Blunderberry Eve. Blazing bananas! No Blunderberry cakes. Huh? Did Barry the Berry Bear forget to bring us any? <clears throat> no berry cakes! No berry cakes! No berry cakes! No berry cakes! None of the berry cakes have been delivered! This is an emergency! It can't be Blunderberry Day without Blunderberry cakes! There must be some reason why Barry didn't deliver those cakes. We are gonna find out. Fix it, Force! To Berry Bear Mountain! They went racing along to Berry Bear Mountain to see what was wrong. So much snow! Guys, I think we're getting close. How can you tell? Don't you 
Don't you smell it? Blunderberry cakes! <gasps> it looks like a skate park, but it doesn't act like one, bro. What do you mean? We can't get enough flash for the thrash. Huh? It ain't got no juice. What? We can't go fast enough to do anything. Laters. We didn't flap the slappy, or wind the grindy, or flash the thrashy. And to top it off, Mr. McFluster is going to be here any minute. Next stop, City Hall. OK, let's see. Well, we would be good. Uh, Chico, I think it's time for a banana break. OK, we put down speed bumps. They zoom down the hill and fly over them. We put down barriers. They zoom down the hill and grind over them. Now we build the greatest skate park ever, and they don't zoom down the hill to fly or grind over anything. That's because our park doesn't have a hill. What's that? Chico, if we don't have a hill to skate down, our park doesn't have juice. The fuzzballs love skating at the City Hall Courtyard because when they zoom down from the top of the hill, it helps them speed up or accelerate so they can do all their awesomely granular tricks. If we build the fuzzballs an even higher ramp here, they'll be able to accelerate a lot. The higher it is, the faster they'll go. Just like when I was trying to jump over the chili pool. Yay, acceleration! Let's build the zonkiest ramp of any sizzling skate park ever. Okay, that definitely doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> Hey, Fuzzballs! Check this out! Well, sure, it looks good, but does it bring the juice? Of course it brings the juice! Rainbow, can you bring the juice? Oh, yeah! I can show them how it's done. My quadruple flipper with a triple twister trick will have juice coming out of your ears! Are you sure? You've never done that before! No problemo! This super high ramp will give me enough acceleration to do it! Science is on our side! You can have City Hall. This skate park is awesome! Gnarly! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet moves! Not too bad yourselves. No, oh, thank you, Chico. Now that those fuzzballs have a place to skate, we have to get City Hall clean for the inspection. Mr. McFluster is almost here! Uh, we can help with that. <laughs> oh, nice. nice! Make it as cute as you are. Exactly. Fix it, Force. Let's get to work. <laughs> Done! A bark activated multifunctional leash. In need of something to drink? Just bark once. That's not all. Bark twice for a massage. And three times for smooth jazz, just the way you like it. Woof, woof, woof. This leash is a multifunctional bonanza. Moment of truth. Let's go for a walk. Whoa, look, he isn't trying to wiggle out of his leash. Success. Yeah! yeah! Uh, guys, there's Elkin. He's gonna get to the treehouse before us. Not if we can help it. Rainbow? Everyone, hop on. Oh, yeah. to see my dog. Oh, 
There's my little bunny baby. And look how well you're walking on your leash. Wait a minute. That's not your leash. Chico, what did you do to Bernie's leash? We engineered a new bark-activated multifunctional leash. It can do a lot of things. Go on, show him, Bernie. With all of Bernie's needs covered, he'll never want to wiggle out of his leash again. I'm impressed. And if Bernie's happy, I'm happy. All in a day's work. And there's one more function built into Bernie's leash that I think you'll both really like. Oh! A microphone! Brilliant. Hit it, Bernie! Bernie! Emergency room is through that chute on the roof. We've got to fly the egg up there fast. Clark, can you take the Clark Copter? Me? But what if... You got this, buddy. I'll be with you every step of the way. Ooh. Okay, little eggy. Time to fly. Don't give up! You can do this! I can do this! For you, Eggy! Just a little higher, Clark! Now I just have to drop you in! Oh, but it's such a long fall, you might break! Chico! I need help! How do I drop the egg without breaking it? You... Yep! Got us! Now! Oh, no! I can't hear him! What do I do? What would Chico do? He'd probably take a banana break. <gasps> I know what I need! A peanut break! Okay. Gotta drop the egg without it breaking. I need a shock-absorbing material. But I don't have any balloons. Or marshmallows. Or jelly! What else absorbs shock? Shock absorption! Woohoo! Oh, that's nuts! Peanuts, that is! Wait a second! Packing peanuts! That's it! These packing peanuts were great for my collection, but they'll be an even better shock absorber! Don't you be scared, Eggy! I'm gonna make sure you stay safe and sound! Little to the left, a little to the right. <laughs> this just in, he did it. Hey, just needed to be plugged in. <gasps> it's oh, here. Egg. Peggy, you're safe. <gasps> You're hatching! <laughs> Breaking news! It's me, Nina! Here's an exclusive! We love you, Nina! You did it, Clark! Yay! Now let's celebrate! Baby Ostrich Dance Party! Amazing bananas, that's it! We can use sneeze propulsion to get us moving again! If we point Clark's trunk this way when he sneezes, it'll blast us along the tracks that way toward the train. It's perfect! Go on, Clark! Sneeze away! Uh, I can't just make myself sneeze. They just sort of happen. Oh, come on, Clark! You can do it! Think of sneezy stuff, like dust and feathers tickling your nose and, uh, did I already say dust? Oh, this is a lot of pressure! <gasps> the choo-choo ex- <laughs> Oh, this sounds like a big one. Maybe it's the last one. The doozy. Hey, Miss Trunk, and hang on tight. Ah! Ah! And I feel great. Sounds like you got all your sneezes out, Clark. You're cured. 
Yay! Wow! The wheels, the coupling rods, the smokestack! I can't believe I'm seeing this with my own two eyes! And hearing it, too! Ah, my! This train is incredible! I know! The Choo Choo Express is the best train in the whole wide world! Oh, not my train, friend. Your train! Your... Your... Conductor Clyde, at your service. And, uh, you are? I... 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 That's Clark. And all of us are the Fix-It Force. Never seen a sneeze-propelled train before. What do you call her? We haven't really named it yet. How about... The Achu Express! Yeah! Say, I got a swell idea. Why don't you attach your train to my train and come along for a ride? Really? You betcha. But I'm gonna need someone to pull that train whistle for me. Chugga chugga! Woo! Woo! The best friends ever riding on the best train ever. How could this day get any better? How about a song? Chugga chugga woo woo, here comes a choo choo, riding right on through the town. Oh, clack it and clack, it won't come off the track, the choo choo express is coming through. Except there's still one problem. We're all out of books to put the tracker in. Tiny even gave up her signed copy of Little Mouse on the Prairie. Correction! We're almost out of books. There's one last book I always keep with me. The first book we ever bought together. How to be best pals. Aw, group hug. Ah. Time to solve this mystery. Let's hope this works. Here comes the squirrel. She's moving toward the book. She's gonna take the b the b Oh! tight. Aw, Peanuts, where'd she go? Rainbow? On it. I can see where she's going on my map. She's headed toward the garage. The chase is on. Now she's heading to the bathroom. Now she's by that blue shoe that goes device in one of them. It let us hear. Oh, dear. I am truly sorry. We just needed these books for my classroom. My students just love to read. No nibbling, Jeremy. Aw, oh, book-loving squirrels. We had no idea you needed books so badly. Actually, we had no idea the squirrel school was even here. But if you need a book from now on, you're always welcome to borrow one. Yeah, the Fix-It Force lab can be like your school library. I think I have an idea for a field trip. Okay, class, School of Tools is back in session. Yay! Today's lesson, how to fix a broken chair. Everyone, take out your chair repair tools. We have them right here, Mr. bob <laughs> This sure is going to be a nutty class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use automation to make an automated pizzerito maker. It'll be just like the Dish Tour Deluxe. With pizzeritos. We can use a conveyor belt to make a machine that performs each step in our assembly line. It'll make the food all by itself without ever slowing down. Just hurry. I think the customers are getting hangrier. Many of us in line are still without a pizzerito. And the hangry meter continues to rise. I'm getting hangry. And when I get hangry, I stomp my foot. 
When I get hangry, I clock like a chicken. <laughs> when I get hangry, I sing the news. Wait a minute, is such a pain. And the weather forecast says it's gonna rain. Ow! Don't worry, Lemuretties. We'll solve your problem in a jiffy job. Present your new automated pizza Rito maker. Fill it, roll it, melt it, scoop it. Wow, in record time. Mm, it looks like a pizza Rito. It smells like a pizza Rito. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like a pizza Rito. Why not? It's a been pooped all wrong. We can't serve these. We've got to serve something. Betty, can you reboop it? Uh, I can try. Boop. Now that's a moi. Okay then. Betty will do the boops. Pizza Rito on the brain. Levels are returning to normal. And while it may have been maddening, everyone agrees these pizza Ritos were worth the wait. Thank you, Fix It the Force. You've solved another one of our food fiascos. <laughs> Bravo. Huh. Glad we could help with your pizza Rito problemo. And thanks to automation, now we have time to, oh, I don't know, have a pizza Rito race. First one to make a pizza Rito win. I think I'll just have seconds. Something heavier, like, uh, like bricks. Actually, there's tons of those up here. It just might take a while to pull them out of the building. <laughs> Not the bricks on the side of the building, loose bricks. Oh, 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 that makes more sense. Nah, we don't have any of those. There's gotta be something heavy enough to lift the sign. What's it gonna take to jam this jam? I've used every tool in my belt, and this duck's still stuck. Mr. Bonbon, bon, according to the rules, you are allowed to phone a friend for help. Hmm. How about three friends? Uh, well, uh, yes, that's allowed. Then it's time for a banana split screen. Hey, team, any idea how Chica. to... I can't get Yuri's car to go the right speed. And I can't get this sign to the top of the tower. And Tana can't unjam my switch. Nice. I'd love to help, but I've got to get this duck out of this pipe or I'll fail the tool belt test. And then I won't be a monkey with tool belt. I'll just be a monkey with the... Oh, Chico, I know exactly what you need. You do? A oh, banana break. That's acceptable. Okay, so the whole team is dealing with problems all over town. But how can I help them if I can't even get this duck unstuck? And to think, this day started out great when the chain reaction machine worked so well and... <gasps> Blazing bananas, that's it! Maybe a chain reaction could solve all our problems. One rubber ducky is heading your way to help. Huh? Okay. If I toss a wrench into that ducky chucker, it'll fling a ducky tire into that valve, which will send water from that tower down the pipe and blast out the ducky. Yeah, then what? If my calculations are right, it should keep going and solve a few other problems, too. Time to put this chain reaction into action. <laughs> Mr. Bonbon, you just 
just solved four problems at once. You've passed your tool belt test. Monkey with a tool belt. <gasps> the banana phone. Chico Bonbon, you got a problem? We can solve them.